G'day and welcome to quick tip number 29 uh, which I've entitled Taming Your Blackboard Units um, and in it I'm going to show you how you can hide and reorder the display of units in your My Units of Study panel within Blackboard. Let me show you what I mean by that. So here I am and I'm logged in. You'll notice that I've got an increasingly long list of units here. Um, as the year progresses you're likely to get more and more units and indeed some of these units will effectively have run their course, they're past their due date and I really don't need to see them every time I log in. So indeed you can actually customise the display of units in this My Units of Study panel which I've um, placed in the centre of my screen. By the way you can reorder these things should you wish it by just dragging them around. Now I'll just quick, draw a quick distinction between the one entitled My Units of Study and a second panel you may have displayed which is My Units of Study Quick View. I find this panel less useful and in fact most of the time I choose to, to shrink that out of way, collapse it down so that it doesn't occupy my screen. Okay, so here I am. It's My Units of Study um, then I want to customise. Um, and you'll notice there's a little, what looks like a little cog or gear symbol just to the top right of that panel. So if I can click onto that now, this will actually list for me each unit for which I'm enrolled. Um, it's got a series of check marks across here where you can control what is displayed to you in that My Units of Study panel. But in fact, if you want to um, stop seeing a particular unit altogether, you can take all of those ticks away and that means it will become effectively invisible. Now the quickest way indeed to do that is to actually use the Select All, Select None uh, toggle switch here. So if I didn't want to see this particular unit I could take it away. Notice what I'm actually doing is I'm making sure it's turned on and then I take it away again so to speak. So you can see quite quickly now I can reduce the number of units that is displayed to me just by removing their check mark here. In addition to that, I can reorder and resequence things. It may be that I want to group particular units together. And so there's a little drag marker here where I can grab a unit and move it up or down in its display order. And so by doing that, not only can I remove the units I don't want to see, but I can group or aggregate those units that um, you know, um, you would like to see together into one space on the screen. Okay, so once I've made those changes and I'm happy with them, I can go either the top or the bottom of the page, and it's just slightly off view here, but hit the submit button, and those selections that I have made will in fact be echoed here. So those units where I took all of the ticks away are no longer displayed, and the the order of display is based upon how I had customized it. It's worth noting a couple of things. One is that you're only really just changing the display for yourself. This won't affect the way students see their units of study. Um, so it's really customizing the display for your own purposes. The other thing is that if indeed you need to get back into one of those units that you've previously hidden, um, perhaps a student has challenged a result and you need to retrieve that, you can always go back in and turn the ticks on or indeed, and this is where this second panel actually has some usefulness, this panel here which I'll now expand again, the quick view panel, indeed shows all of your units. So that's a useful way to get into units which you might have previously hidden. But I, I usually have that collapsing out of view and only refer to that as I need it. So I hope that's useful to you. Cheers.